Now that the hardware is installed, we will need to install the software. After downloading the software and extracting it, go into the folder and find the setup file. It can be found under Setup, Windows, and then you will need to install the .msi file. Once the wizard opens, you will need to install the server pieces and the developer pieces. After the software finishes installing, please go to Start, Programs, Ubisense 2.1, Platform Control. Because you do not have a license, you're going to get a license error. Please read the instructions and apply for your license. After receiving the license, extract it and go into the setup folder. Here you'll need to run the .msi file, so double click on it. When the wizard opens, click Next, agree to the license, click Next, install all the licenses, click Next, and choose Install. After the licenses have finished installing, there are a few things you will want to do before starting the Ubisense software. Turn off the Windows firewall and any antivirus programs which may block the software. If you have a wireless card, please disable it. You also need to plug your PC into the PoE switch which contains the sensors. The sensors will need a DHCP server, so if you do not have one, please see the additional video on how to install a DHCP server. Once these tasks have been completed, please go to the Start menu, Programs, Ubisense 2.1, and Platform Control. Platform Control is the software which will allow you to start and stop the Ubisense software. The first thing you will need to do is to specify a data set. This is the location of where the Ubisense data set will reside. Pick something simple like C Drive My Ubisense Data Set. To start the services, click on Ubisense Core Server and click Start. Then click on Ubisense Service Controller and click Start. Then click Apply and OK. Next, you will need to install the services. Anytime you create a new data set, you will have to do this. Go to Ubisense 2.1 Service Installer. Click the Next button. You will need to browse to the directory where the Ubisense software exists. Go into Ubisense 217 Setup and click the Packages folder. Then click OK. Click the Next button. These are all the services that you can install. Select all and click Next. Click Next to finalize. It will now take several minutes to install these services, so you may want to go ahead and cl click the Pause button. Once the services have finished installing, you will want to ensure that they are installed and are running. Go to Programs, Ubisense 2.1, Service Manager. Here you will see a list of the services. If you expand it, you will see the status of each service. What you want to make sure is that every service is in the running status. You will notice that the logging service is not running, but that is okay because we haven't actually turned the logger on.